welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4, and I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy. And today we're looking at Planet Unknown. Wow. This is the fourth game of the week that is really, really great. That's four out of four great games. This game is so unique as well. So let's go to the intro first. Earth's resources have been exhausted. The call to action has been raised as it's time to reach into the stars for the future of humanity. And it's not gonna be easy, but we're sending elite corporations into space to build the best damn planet man could find. You'll be equipped with never seen before components packing loads of gameplay at the table. The newly built space station Susan will deliver everything you need to build a planet that is habitable immediately. Welcome to Planet Unknown. Now this game has been in development for five years, so it's gone through a lot of phases and iterations are and gameplay wise it's looking very, very cool. Um, obviously it's a tile placement game and um, it's also a little bit of engine building in here it looks really cool with some asymmetry too oh yeah this game's looking great super on our radar so let's have a look at it right after this the next social stretch goal on kiss 102.4 is the 250 subscriber subscribe today and unlock new music that will change the music in all the videos in the future you could be part of the evolution. Planet Unknown. Ooh, this is looking great. Look at this art. Looks great, doesn't it? There is the space station where all these things are coming from. Looking cool. Oh, it's great. A one to six player game, which is cool. You've got to develop your planet and preserve humanity. Ooh. All right, doing really well, actually. It's double its goal, which is great to see in its first few days, and almost at a thousand backers. All right. Let's have a look at this monster, then. Now, this is the rotating wedge here that they're calling the Lazy Susie, I think they're calling it. <laughs> you can see all the art here. I do wish that this had some art underneath the tiles. It looks like you could potentially put some paper art down. Um, I understand they're going to have some poles that are coming up to actually hold these tiles in situ so they don't move around if you suddenly spin it quickly because you've got that person with a child brain <laughs> that wants to um, roulette wheel it around but the paper could have a hole in so it could still sit in between here to give it the idea that there is space between the um, the wedges and also maybe make the wedges fatter so it looks like it's the arms of a space station um, I'll, I'll, put a, I'll try to put an image up here to show you what I mean by a space station how the arms would come out because it would look so much more immersive if they did that it would look really really cool um, zero downtime one of the things is that this might actually fit into the box um, so when you're packing it away you just put the tiles back on here and it can just go back in the box that's a potential something that's not mentioned here um, yes yeah, so simultaneous play it's very very cool as it spins around mm -hmm. you are going to be putting tiles down which puts um, meteors down and life pods that you can collect with a rover that moves around um, there, is, there is a symmetry, they have different planets which we will see, which is really cool. 
and um, yeah, dual resource polyominoes, dual resource. Hmm. Interesting. And it says it's one giant leap for polynomial board games. Really, a giant leap. <laughs> Yeah, it does see here, see here, the Lazy Susan is only in the limited deluxe edition, which is over here at $70. Um, and it does say it's both for quick setup and storage for the tiles. So, very, very good. You also get a triple layered board, which sounds fantastic. And you get some plastic po life pods and meteors, which we'll see below which look very cool as well. Now the retail's 49, so is it worth 20 bucks for this limited edition components? Yes, of course it is, 20 bucks. The dual layer, the triple, the triple layer boards are worth that, <laughs> probably. All right. Let's go down the page. Now, it does look great, doesn't it? Oh, look at it. It's it's a lazy Susie in the middle that looks weird here. Again, lack of art. Could be using paper. What's this big center section for? That could look great. If it was like the center of a space station and it was like a round mini you could fit there just as a bit of decor. To, Make it look like the center of a station. <laughs> Optional add-on, center station mini, please. <laughs> now the the rovers are all kind of the same. It would be nice if there was something unique about that, or have I just got the unique money, unique money, unique miniature on my brain because of new Osaka that we looked at this week which just went every miniature has to be different everyone <laughs> it went crazy with different minis so <laughs> I'll put the link above for new Osaka that we covered this week absolutely amazing complex game anyway back to Planet Unknown which is also an amazing game Let's point that out there these Rovers could be different, you know, could be doing something different with them. Um, so on the boards here, you can only build, um, you, know, you can only get water from the ice on the planet. That's a thing. And these big circles are life pods. So if you move your rover, or you will be moving your rover to either collect the meteors or to go to these big circles, life pods, you're going to be putting down um, a tile on there. These life pods are basically a free square on your planet if you get the rover to it. So it's very, very cool. All right. I mean, look at this picture of this rover we have here. Now that could, that could be one absolutely could be one that differs from these up here they don't all have to have wheels one could have tracks on it one could have this um it's like a square track interesting design um anyway this thing's coming out in oh it's oh it's all over the place look Retail's coming January, and the Deluxe is coming October. Ooh. That's four months before the retail one. Do you realize that it's cool to say that here? Oh. Devs, what a great thing to say. This is like four months. Of course, this is Kickstarter, and delays are possible, so we could bridge that gap between them, but this is still very cool. While we're here though, um, 10 plus it says, which is nice, nice. Um, 70 minutes, I do like that. As long as it's within the 90 minutes, I'm cool. And I guess the simultaneous play helps speed that up. Very, very good.
Um, there's a few things I, I, I can I do want like to see, but this like to see different. That'd be cool. Now you can see here the rotating cardboard one on the retail one is pretty meh, <laughs> isn't it? This is why there's only a few people getting the retail version. The limited edition is well worth it. And the boards look, the boards look different. These are the opposite sides of the AAA boards where they've got a company name on them. And um, a little bit of company goals, it looks like. So this is the asynchronous part. Um, the more advanced phase, which is very uh, cool, really cool. As you're putting down tiles, you're gonna be putting this track up the track is almost a mini tech tree as well, so it will unlock certain abilities as you go up it. For example, when you start building, you've got to be starting from the edge of the map. But your tech here will let you build anywhere on the map you want. If once you get up, the rover can go further. Um, different techs which we can see in the rule book, which we'll look at when we get to the bottom of the page. Oh, look at these plastic bits. I would love to see what these look like painted. Devs, if you could just show us a painted version of these to, to imagine the possibility, it would be really, really cool. And um, it doesn't say here, it, I mean, it says it wouldn't first play a token, but it, why would they give it a 3D look like it's a plastic bit? <laughs> Are they just trying to make that look different? I don't know. Inside the box. Now, is it, maybe there's going to be something that they could do with this box. I don't know, make it some Kickstarter. Even if it's just the sleeve um, to show that you've got the Lazy Susan inside. <laughs> Now, so here's the art of the tiles. It'd be nice if we could get different meteors coming in. They don't all have to look like this. And, um, you know, it's kind of repeat art is what I'm trying to get at here. Can they not vary the tile art a little bit is what I'm suggesting. I mean, these tech ones here, they've all got a number two on them. Can that not look a little bit different? <laughs> And, um, yeah, otherwise, it's, it's pretty cool. You put your, your civilization under these big pods here. These are technologies that you can unlock. I mean, if you put down this for the civilization, it will put the civilization up in your, um, you know, your board. If you put one, one of these water tiles on ice, you'll get water on the board. Now, these... So the panels here, these are giving you energy, which means it can, it's basically a wild. So it potentially can give you any of these. There is a rule where it kind of can change a little bit, the technology, it's not as simple, but um, either way it is very, that, that tile is very cool to collect really, if it's wild. And if you put this tile down here, you're gonna get the Rover the, you've got like a rover tech tree on the, on the board as well. And this, the green one's tech, you've actually got a tech one that you're going to be putting up. Um, so there is that. I don't know what this, this is here. This weird thing. <laughs> it looks like it's farming, doesn't it? it? The thing will spin and it will kind of water all this around. That's the only one that's got me kind of, what is that one? If you know what that is, if I don't find it out in the video, please <laughs> let me know in the comments what it is. Oh. Um, now, so this is the standard size of the planet and it does look really good. I love the glow around the outside of the planet. Um, it looks very cool. This is kind of the family edition, as they're calling it. Kind of learn learn the game before turning over the back. 
Now it's <clears throat> when you get the basic board here, right? So these are the advanced ones. When you turn these over, you get this kind of board. Why is there no company name on these? It is strange. Like the, this one here, the Horizon Group. Why can the Horizon Group not just have the name on here? Um, and then you turn it over and you've got that. I mean, I don't know. It should have some kind of company name here, even if it's different to these. I don't know what it could be, but it definitely should have that. Because then, not planet goals, this is your company goal that you're working for. Oh, it's like, um, I don't know, is it a planet goal from who? <laughs> Who's setting this goal? Who's letting you all go to these planets? Is, what is this Earth? Do we still have an Earth contingency somewhere? Does Earth still exist, you know? Who's setting these goals? Are they set by the the new, I don't know what it could be, new government of Earth? That's quite interesting lore to have that. Yeah. So, you know, you've got individual goals that you can do. One interesting one is the solo mode, because the solo one is going to have a new event deck. And uh, the actual event deck is module for the one to six players so you could actually put these events in to the game and the events are going to affect all players so it's not potentially going to be you know make it unfair everyone's getting treated by the same you're all in this on the same planet essentially you're on different you know this planet is so big that <laughs> You potentially could be on the same planet. So there is that. All right. All right, so these are some of the renders here. Oh, it's not going to be that much to change up the, the mini. I mean, if you look at New Osaka, man, they've, they've even done individual missiles for each of the... <laughs> for each of the players in New Osaka, I mean, it's crazy what they've, what extent they've gone on their minis. I'm going to be using New Osaka for the next year, I think, when I see minis that are the same. <laughs> because it's set the new benchmark on Kickstarter. It is epic. Right. Look at these planets. Oh my goodness. They look fantastic. As we go down and look at these, they're all individual as well in what you can do on them. Um, yeah, you can overlap tiles on here. So you have to get a square tile here. You have to get this shape wiggly one here. Um, I guess this one here, you've got to get your rover there to put the pod down on that one. So. Um, it limits you here. They're all about limiting you. Oh, man, look at this. I've got another civilization on this planet. They don't care that you've just landed. No communication. <laughs> but potentially you can't build on these. So you more restrictions here. But you've got more live pods. And more, you know. There should be some balance between these, I think. Oh man, this planet looks wicked! Mm. It, you know, the, the atmospheric ring going around the outside, the inner atmosphere, is fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> there is another game on Kickstarter right now that has planets, and they've got this garish grey ring going around the outside. Can you guess what that is? I'm going to put up the image in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, look at this. I can't believe they're doing it. <laughs> anyway, this is how you do the ring. It is amazing. 
By the way, Planet 3, they are going to they are going to be named. This is just a working name, Planet 3. <laughs> That's something to mention. I do like Planet 3, the lava going through. Eurova cannot cross here, which is interesting. Um, although there is a unique company that lets rovers... I don't know if it's fly across or teleport across. I don't know what the tech is. Oh man, look at Planet 4! Yeah, this huge ring <laughs> represents wind. So um, these this centre two grids here, you can't really put placements in the middle here. You've got to go from the edge of the planet, it says, and work across. So it's um, very, very cool. Oh man, it does look good, doesn't it? Um, planet five. This is like Quattro Stagnioni Pizza. <laughs> um, you can kind of see bottom right here, no water, obvious. Um, on the left, no science tiles allowed. Up here, no civilizations can live here. And um, over here, no no green stuff <laughs> what is that one again biomass it'd be nice if they actually like here we know you can't do water there because there isn't any i guess you can put water tiles down when there's no water and it doesn't give you anything but so yeah um it would be nice if this area had some kind of electrical storm in the atmosphere so if you put technology buildings down, it's just going to <laughs> not score them. All right, there you go, plan five. So yeah, can we not do something with the art to make it look like, you know, no biomass here because of something else that's going on. Maybe it's just super dry or something, I don't know. Anyway, ooh, look at this planet. What's going on here? <laughs> It says it's an ice ball and it's radiating with a grid of energy. Ooh, it's kind of interesting, this one. And we do like it. So, potentially water tiles everywhere. All right. Now we can see here the changes of them. You change it into a company. You can see the rovers are different here with these companies. And that would be a great stretch goal. <laughs> Look, you've got a hovering one here for Galaxia. So yeah, potentially that's going to come. <laughs> Asymmetric play boards, these are cool. I mean, look at that rover. Come on, guys, you've already got the art. Just need to get your sculptor on it. Get on it! Bio, that's the one. Just means it's got trees and stuff so you can put farms on it. <laughs> and animals and things like that. All right. Yeah, so as you go up here, there are you are unlocking certain things, which is nice. Um, yeah, it, it, it is very cool. And your rover that's going around there, they are collecting things. You can see up here they're collecting life pods. So you'd pull the miniature off the board and then put it on your in your collection up here. Very cool! Instead of gaining a biomass square, gain a synergy boost. What is that? <laughs> synergy boost. Yes, we'll be mentioning this. I just want to mention this. The rule book does not have an index. So when you mention something like synergy boost, I don't want to be flashing through the rule book. 
and looking for this when the six players around the table are waiting, pulling their phones out while I'm looking for this. Uh, rovers may warp to the same tile type once per turn. Ooh, so these are kind of the teleportation rovers. All right, so you can see that the, tr the tech is fairly cool as you go up. And um, this is coming from the tech itself here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So... <laughs> they are going over here. Like if it's got one, two, three, four, five, six on here, why haven't these got like a one, two, three, four, five, six going up? It is fairly strange. It is strange. Um, and you can see on the track here, you've got like a daisy wheel when you go up, um, which means you once you hit that, it'll let you put something else up too. Um, and you can see the rover as it goes up, the numbers are representing its movement, I think. Maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see in the rule book how it shows you these boards. Mm, yes. And you can get a flavour of each company here and the different setups. And you can see the different rovers and um, some of the boards are really, really different. In fact, the last one we'll see is this. The very, very cool one. The water cob. <laughs> Look at these rovers that I even, they don't even rove the mitt, the bloody fly around. This, this one's great. Look at this moving around. It is very, very cool. Make your way all the way up the river like the river like water track to earn a greater reward. Mm. Why Kickstarter? Well, why not? You've got a massive deluxe version coming out. Are the tiles double sided? That's a question. Is there something on the other side of the tile? Yeah, they are on tabletop simulator. This is a sign that they are solid in the gameplay and they're happy that if you test it, you'll love it. They're getting a digital version of the game. I do not care one bit about this, guys. <laughs> I tell you now, I will never, ever, 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 ever play a board game on the computer. No way, Jose. I'm sorry. There are too many fantastic computer games out there that will blow any board game computer game out of the water. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand this pushing it over to the computer space. I am not the consumer that they're looking for on this. Anyway, ran over. It's <laughs> you get a digital version of it. Um, New Planet 7 is coming out. Abnormally high gravity. How is that going to affect the gameplay? That's definitely interesting. First player token. It says size upgrade. You can kind of see here that it is not a... It's just a piece of card. Planet 8 is this toxic. How is that going to work as well? This They all seem to have the gameplay, change up of the gameplay, which is interesting. Um, extra Civ cards per tier. Nice. Like, like see content pushed of course um this one d o looks like you double double something what's it gonna double put your guesses can you guess what it is put it in the comments below and if you guess right i'll put your name on the saturday show this week on 
<laughs> that little competition. If you can guess what this stretch goal is going to be, what's it going to double? Put it in the comments. The first one to answer this, I will mention you in the comment in the video on Saturday when we cover this game for the show. Oh, look at this! Oh, this gets me so excited! See this hexagonal placemat? <laughs> it looks amazing! I've asked the devs about this, like, this sneaky picture here, is it going to be an add-on? Because I, I've got a sneaky suspicion that one of us at the station is going to, going to back this. It's going to be their cup of tea big time. They love polynomials. I'm just saying. Hint, hint, editor. Um, if this does not come to fruition, this hexagon thing, it's going to be a damn shame, but... I'm sure our graphic graphic person at the studio can, or the station, can do this anyway. So we'll home brew this if you don't bring it out. But a playmat would be delicious. And it would definitely be, for those people who in retail, it would be nice for them to get as well as an add-on. I just love the fact that it's got this kind of space. It t t turns the table into kind of galactic space here, you see. And then you put your grey space station on, which again, are we going to have to homebrew it to put custom graphics around it? Aye, man. Yeah, it looks like you're going to... At the minute, it looks like if we get this game, we're going to have to do some work to make it look like this image here and make that space, space station look like a space station, not look like a lazy design. You know, it looks like it's, it's early on in its design and we had a deadline, so we couldn't make it look like a space station. And we couldn't make art down because we were running to a deadline. That's what that says. That speaks of design that had a deadline. I don't want to say lazy. It speaks of a deadline. And there's no deadline yet. No deadline. Um, yeah, it does tell you how to play here. You've got your, obviously tile drafting, tile placement, and the engine building. Going up this track. Yeah, you're building, getting stronger. Yeah. Evolving obstacles. You can see here the little mini. Even that is kind of old, isn't it? They're not using that anymore. Your tile placements will continue to trigger obstacles in the form of meteors which prevent you from scoring victory points. Clean them up with your rover before the game ends. Yes, because look at this. This person's got meteors everywhere and they've not cleaned it up and they're getting no bonuses at the end game. Yes, the end game is going to be very mathy <laughs> it really is as you uh, you score the columns and stuff the rule book here very cool german is out french spanish italian coming soon and um, we'll look at this when we get to the bottom of the page very good it says stay tuned for organized play I think the only people that are going to play this game on competitive, they'll play digitally to practice the heck out of it to play a competition in the board game. I think that's the only that's the only aspect I can see people wanting to play in it. Or they have zero knowledge of what's out there in the computer industry and what great games that they've had over the last 10, 20 years that are still worth playing. Now, videos and reviews. Yes, Radho loves this. He thinks it's going to be the best polynomial ever, potentially. Certainly the theme is very attractive. The planets, yeah, love it, love it, love it. 
We've got Slicker Drips. Weird name. It's weirder than Kickstarter Radio 102.4. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, you've got lots here to look at. Tantrum House there. Very good. I love the uh, Tantrum House showing you the box size here. Um, does it all really fit in that box? <laughs> So, smallish team. In fact, if you take the community manager out of the way, it's just, well, if you take the artist, well, it's the three of them. Wow, a small team. You've done a very good job. Look at this, got another unique one here. Come on, guys, you can push this out. Unique rovers. Uh, they've given 10. They give some shipping, is it $10 off shipping for everybody to make it cheaper, which is nice. You're getting free if you're in the US. Um, <clears throat> 30 rest of the world seems like a good deal. It really is. <clears throat> All right, we're at the end of the Kickstarter. We'll go to the rule book next, and uh, then we'll finish off after that. So let's head there now. Now it says rule book here, but it doesn't say beta rule book, which has me worried. <laughs> has me worried. Look at this meteor coming down, hitting this thing. Like, have they not got any detection of stuff coming? Like, you can you can predict a meteor days before it even arrives. How the hell did he get hit by that? You fall asleep. There's no artificial intelligence commanding the ship. Questionable. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got a nice setup on the table. Um, looks like you're getting more rovers, two rovers up here. And um, component list, it says not included in the prototype, is the solo cards and the asymmetric planet on the back. So maybe this is a beta, they just not wrote beta on the, on the rover. Now the comments is pretty lively about the loot, the rule book. In so props to the backers that are talking back and forth about the rule book. It's good to see. And um, ah, here we go. That big white thing is bio. So if you pull that down, uh, I, know. I wonder if that is much bigger. I'm just putting it on two pages here, like you open it up in a book. But these images of these look a little small i would like to have a all the individual tile arts shown and just displayed what it, each was that way instead of hunking it up into this um but anyway um yeah it looks pretty nice you've got the resource track the sieve track the water track biomass track rover track tech track um, all logical. The tech track place tiles anywhere on the planet you want. You can store the biomass squares until the end of the game. You might have to wait until you get level two before you collect them. Um, rover gets rover goes long moves movement up. Double water advancement level far, four and immune from meteor strikes level five. Ooh. So you don't have to collect them when you get to level five. I think collecting them might give you a bonus though. A um, little bit of talking about the energy track here, how you just get a wild. It, it has a strange rule where it, he, he doesn't can get wild if it's near something or if it or it can it's weird this I don't know why they just don't simplify this and just say if you put it down you get a free one simple because it seems a little convoluted for the sake of what here um, end of game scoring um, score one medal for every three meteors you collected there you go 
There is an advanced play variant. Um, and the FAQ here, which is nice, and hopefully that is a work in progress. Oh, look at the FAQ. It's the only place on the whole Kickstarter it saves. Am I allowed to pick up a tile and see if it fits on my planet? Yes, picking up a tile allows players to see the tile below it. Uh, am I allowed to flip the tile over to place it? Yes, there is artwork on both sides, so flipping tiles is legal. So they are double-sided. Whoa, yeah. Very good. Um, here's the asymmetry. Um, it's interesting that they put this FAQ in each of the sections here. <laughs> but um, I do like it. Oh, what's that? Environmental sound? Mike, are you picking that up? Very strange. Sorry. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico can get very loud. Uh, planet, so you can see there's some names put in. We've got Ac. Planet Ac. Planet Gash, Planet Deso, Planet Gravitas, um, Nem Pending, that could be a social goal, and um, it says artwork coming soon, so potentially that on the Kickstarter page is work in progress. It looks fantastic. Um, maybe it's finished. It looks finished. Um, Solar One is very cool here, and it's basically... There we are at the end. I would love an index, like I said, if, if something comes up where someone asks something, you want to be able to hunt that down ASAP. And, um, and yeah, so, you know, please put an index in the back. Is it going to harm that much? Please. All right, let's go back to Kickstarter and wrap it up. And now we're at the wrap up. And I bet you know that the editor when she puts this last section on the video, I bet it's already been back by her. <laughs> I know it, I know. I know exactly she'll be buzzing over this game. All right, very simple to wrap up then. Please put some art on the space station. Make the lines in between them thicker so it looks like a space station. And um, something for the middle, a mini for the center would be fantastic as an add-on. Um, and the rovers, the rovers. <laughs> final, final thing is the single layer, uh, not single layer, the, the basic side of the layer board should have a company name on them just to make it look like it, because it just looks so dull without that. Um, but I guess that's why we're going to look. You get the sexy boards. <laughs> All right, not much to do. A little bit of art here and the spruce it up a little bit. But otherwise, it looks solid tight and looking fantastic. And it's definitely one that our library can fit for sure. We've, um, we've got Isle of Cats. But this is doing something different. And it's a different genre, so... Yeah, all good. It looks looking great. 22 days ago, we'll be covering this on Saturday this week on, and we will be following it on through its campaign length. And we'll be featuring that on our live show, which is every Sunday. Um, so you can tune in for those. Also, our channel is busy, 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 seven days a week. <laughs> if you've got to the end of the video, thank you so much. You're going to hate me now as the worst YouTuber out there but um, for what I'm going to say next but please subscribe like the video and share it if uh, you want to plug the game all great thank you so much and um, yeah you've been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4 um, I'm Lipstick Paddy you take care stay safe and if you're soloing hope you're having fun at home so bye bye for now <laughs>